Coverage you can count on continues now with a group spending MLK Day focusing on voters. Yeah, news After just a few moments of listening to the Negro National Anthem, Franklin Delano Williams remembered being just a young boy at the March on Washington in 1963. If you're looking at the Lincoln Romero on the left-hand side of that pool, them trees on that side, I was in one of those trees. While there, he heard Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. speak. That speech, you know, resonates with me to this day. Those words lifted Williams through the civil rights movement all the way to 2023, where Dr. King's legacy motivates him as the deep canvas manager for New Georgia Project. And I just want to know all your registered voters in Georgia. The grassroots organization launched its civic engagement and organizing work on MLK Day at one of the CSRA's Dr. King events at Abilene Baptist Church. To honor his legacy, it has a goal. At least 40,000 registered voters across the Peach State. Work that's done simply by knocking on doors and attending public events in the Augusta area. I was one of them like, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But as we kept coming to events like this, it was like I realized it did matter. I will take this set up right here. Williams, along with recent college grad Shamarius Bolton, are working to help younger people move voting to the top of their agenda too, making it personal. The young people need to understand that if I don't like the lunch at school or the this and that at school, somebody that voted for whoever went to Congress is the one that passed the bill for the school lunch program. And he says even if people are already registered to vote, maybe they relocated and require new information about how to cast a ballot. Either way, he says his work pushing people to the polls with New Georgia Project has a deeper meaning for him. Where I grew up, uh, most black people were not registered to vote because they couldn't pass the test. It's been 60 years since Dr. King penned his letter from a Birmingham jail. So NGP will also launch its Letter for Power campaign, a letter writing initiative to demand progressive change from leaders in Georgia. And Martinez, Renata DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6.